The village of Ridgewood is the latest area to ban short-term rentals like the popular Airbnb and HomeAway. The ordinance prohibits rentals fewer than 30 days and violators will face a fine. We decided to take that upon, upon the uh, village council because of some complaints from residents regarding a lot of activity in different homes coming and going. Mayor Susan Knudsen said the ordinance passed unanimously and was effective by January 13th and that it was necessary so that the short-term rental business wouldn't get out of hand in the area due to the lack of rules. We addressed it also because we have no, nothing in our zoning that allows for this. It actually, our zoning never contemplated this. And so it was something that we did have to look at. Now, the deputy mayor of Ridgewood told media outlets that the measure is to target individuals who are going on the Internet to rent out a single bedroom, half of a house or an entire house. It will not prohibit people from staying with family members in the area. Ridgewood residents who benefited from short-term rental spaces showed pushback of the ordinance. Mayor Newton said the type of renting might be reconsidered at a later date. We'll look at this in the future as to whether or not there's an opportunity for us to facilitate this type of uh, opportunity for our residents. As the ordinance was passed last month here in Ridgewood, Lynnhurst is looking to follow suit with their own ordinance this month. According to reports, an ordinance will be introduced February 14th at the Board of Commissioners meeting in Lynnhurst. In addition to Ridgewood, Englewood Cliffs, Palisades Park, Fort Lee, Creskill and Glen Rock reportedly all have bans already in place. We had studied quite a number of ordinances from different municipalities, not only in Bergen County, but of course the state and from out of New York. According to media reports, Newark and Jersey City legalized short-term rentals, but imposed a fee equal to each city's municipal hotel. Tell tax. According to Ridgewood's acting village manager, the penalty for not complying with this ordinance will be determined by a judge, but the penalty will not exceed over $1,000. Reporting in Ridgewood, Melissa Estock, WNBC News.